What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Yes, my voice is gone, but this morning we're actually going on a big epic toy hunt at Frank and Sons Collectible Warehouse, pretty much. Never been there before. You know, being from Alabama, I've always wanted to go there. It's a dream, actually, to go there and have a toy hunt video done there. And so I'm really excited. I don't know what to expect. I, I mean, I kind of have an idea of what to expect, but I've never been there. I've never seen like really good, accurate depictions of what's in there. So it should be really fun, man. I uh, have a special guest that we're going on a toy hunt with, so that'll be really fun. But you guys will see the guest soon. We're going to roll out here very soon. He's picking me up at the Airbnb. Me and Brad are going, and then he's going as well. Should be really fun, man. I'll see you guys on the toy hunt, and uh, let's get it started and find some good stuff. All right, boys here at Frank and Son Collectible Show. Really excited. Got my boy Magic here, action figure designer. Master class, what he does. And then we got Brad. What are you hoping to find? Uh, anime. Anime? Hopefully some DBZ, maybe? Some they got the Easter Bunny in the house. Let's do it. Oh my god. Yeah, well, oh dude, that's so dope. What now? The wrestling stuff's like all right here. Okay. Sounds good. What'd you say? What, you know what that is? You don't even know what that is. Where? That the, the five dollar goo monster. I don't. It is Burger King toys, the men in black toys. You can slide Jay or whoever into the into the back of them. Uh-huh. So it's like alien disguise. That's dope. Dude, this place is absolutely overwhelming. I mean, there's no way you could you you could make a 27 part series <laughs> on this entire building, and you still wouldn't cover everything. Those are so sick. Mythic legions, everybody loves. I think that's what those are. Right. Mythic legions. Got the sarge over here. Look at the zombie. Uh, oh, there's next to Is that for what if? Some WWE elites. AEW. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Bunch of older stuff. Nothing uh, I need for sure. I don't, uh, we got some newer stuff over here. Yeah, just, you know, some of the stuff's kind of inflated, but that's all right. I understand it. I just, uh, I'm not going to pay it. You know what I mean? You got Ultimate Team. Okay, you got the two-pack right there. That's a cool piece. Didn't expect to see that. Got some Ultimates. Oh, there's Andre the Giant. Wolf. I don't think I see anything that I need necessarily, but... What do you think? Miro for 25 right now. What do you think? A little pricey. <laughs> I definitely got to get JoJo something here. Damn, those are, those are massive. Dude, those are huge. What do you think now? Uh, they, they think I try to keep telling this man to get a full case, or he needs to get a full collection, but dude, those look amazing. A lot than dude, even a G.I. Joe ones look bad ass. Dude, those are way bigger than I was expecting. Yeah, you can get on Amazon. You find anything yet? I found everything. You found everything? <laughs> I can't believe how big the Super 7s are. I didn't yeah. expect that, dude. I've never seen them in person. Like, no wonder the damn price point. Like, I don't think people, I don't think people understand. I don't think people, when they see those online, I don't think they grasp how big they are. No. I think you'd be a lot more justified. I mean, sometimes they're still a little bit of a price. Oh, yeah, you got some up here. We got over here. We got, uh, the, just the greatest AEW figures ever made. Yeah. <laughs> the hangman, casual hangman. Casual hangman, beautiful. Unrivaled. I mean, unmatched five spears. You got ring giants, Eddie Guerrero. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I have the John Cena, that's it. Oh, snap, you got the Chase Razor. I don't know about a hundred bucks. Chase, Cody, and Sue. Is it? Yeah, and Chase, Anna J. Oh, this does look good. Uh, we got uh, Andrade. 
week, uh, Brock. Dude, this ultimate Brock right here is. The, I put this figure over so much, man. I'm pretty sure we had this. The Toy Biz Hogan. Beautiful. You got the top picks Ray, you got a battle pack, Santos Escobar. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't know what the hell I'm buying, but I'm definitely going to buy something. I'm leaving here with something. Cue the Denzel quote. You know, you got to. I don't know what the hell I'm going to get, but I'm getting something, bro. Marvel Selects. I wish I collected Marvel Selects. They're cool. They have good detail. I just don't have the room, bro. I do not have the room. On to the next one. If I filmed everything, my phone would explode with storage, so I'm trying to be selective. Why are you closed? Tell us why. Tell us why. Hey. Mattel hooked me up with that one. Hey, look. Oh, never mind. That's the figure yard zero. I thought that was the... I thought that was the SDCC. If we walk over here, they have classic Fusion Collection, Movie Collection, and Jack's DBZ figures that are absolutely fantastic. That's some of my favorite figures ever, man. They're so good. Even though, you know, they're a bit questionable now. They, those used to be the shit. One of my brother's friends threw my Gotenks out the window uh, going down the highway. So there it is right there. Jordan, you owe me, you piece of shit. I guess I'm actually here at the Walmart store booth. Didn't know they had one. But he just gave me the card and I talked to the guy. And I let him know that the uh, this is where a lot of people come for a lot of elites and superstars figures. So this is actually a pretty decent selection. They got Elite 101 here. I can only find Kevin and Sonya Deville, but I think, uh, you know, you could do some digging and stuff like that, but I'm not coming across anything else. They got Elite 99, Boogeyman, Brock Lesnar, Elite 100 in here. Um, I think that's the original Bret Hart. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's the re-release. I checked the bottom. It said 2019. So maybe that's the original one. I'm not entirely sure. They got Chainsaw Charlie. Bronson Reed, Trash Corbin, um, pretty solid selection, I'd say. I mean, you got some, uh, you got some good pieces in here. Farouk Assad back there, Rick Boogs. Um, I'm looking for the Chase Brock, and I'm looking for the Ruthless Aggression Shelton Benjamin because I haven't gotten those yet, but I'm not seeing it unfortunately. But can't give up hope. It looks like some of the stuff's picked over. Like Seth Rollins isn't here. You got Elite 100 Ray is the most popular. I see Greatest Hits Bam Bam, Greatest Hits Ray, Elite Omos, Greatest Hits Jake the Snake is down there as well. Um, you got Shamrock, Stacy, Paula Orndorff. I haven't seen that one in a minute, but Ultimate Warrior right there. That's cool. Okay. Ah, I wish it was the. I don't think that's the Chase. The Chase has the the flag on the face, but. Yeah, I'm not seeing any Chases or Cody's, but still pretty cool to see. You know, it's always nice to see refreshing elite selection instead of, uh, you know, the same old, same old. So it's pretty cool, but pretty dope selection. All right, guys, we have this one booth. What's the booth called again? What's the place called? Uh, AWS Promotions. AWS Promotions. Ultimate Wrestling Shop. Also known as the ultimate wrestling show. Okay, okay. And they have their own promotion. Uh, guys like Birdie King have come through. Who else has come through? Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa. Shotzi. Shotzi Blackheart. Pretty cool Maybe stuff. Others. Really cool booth right here, guys. We got tons of Lucy's right here. All kinds of different. You got uh, entrance grades, Ted DiBiase. Lots of basics. Got Horn Swaggle and Finley up here. AEW figures as well. Lots of really cool stuff here. Have loose hands, tables, play sets. Would never find anything like this, you know, it, it, anywhere around me. So that's really, really cool. Come over here. Here's a shot of the promotion. So check them out. AWS, pretty cool stuff. And then they have this whole wall of AEW, which is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it looks like they have every series, from what I'm saying, up till Unrivaled Eleven. Uh, you got the ringside exclusive Excalibur. We got some Target exclusives. They have a few chases above me. I'll show you those in just a moment. But they even have uh, you got Supremes. You got TNT Cody, Blood and Guts, Brit. We got some basics down here. UK ring, more TNT. Uh, looks like some are up under there stacked up. You got more Brit over there. Tag team two packs. I mean, any AEW figure, they probably see Chase Nyla over there. Unmatched one, Kitty. That looks really, really good. That's awesome. Then up here, we do have some chases. You got the Shop AEW exclusives, Thunder Rosa. You got Brian Danielson, Cody. 
Chase Punk, Chase Starks, and Chase Brody. And I don't have the Punk or the uh, Ricky Starks just yet, so that might be something to definitely think about. I just don't know how I'd get it home with my luggage. That's really the only thing, but got some basics over here. GameStop exclusive. You got the Zodiac. Big wall of elites over here. Lots of elites. You got Elite 94, 95, some older stuff. Um, they do have ultimates at the top. You got Ultimate AJ. You got Razor up there. Sean. Big ultimate collection. We got Ruthless Aggression Elites. I mean, you name it. They've probably got it here. What's really cool right here I thought was awesome is they have all the rays that we've gotten over the last couple of years kind of line up right here. And it just kind of puts into perspective how many Ray Mysterios we've gotten. So if you have them all lined up right here, look at all those together. That's insane, man. So that's really dope. But, you know, we, we could a lot, and we have a lot more coming. So you got ultimates and things like that. But there's some sets. Elite 98 Finn Balor, some legends. Chase Ricky Steamboat. Haven't been able to find that anywhere. That might be a purchase. Um, we got some more elites down here. Chase Molly Holly, Chase Dewdrop, Rhonda. A lot of modern stuff. You got Elite 84 Roman. That Legends Bam Bam, never found that. Um, you got the Brock movie figure. Got the Target 3 pack down there, Buddy Murphy. We got some Lucy's over here as well. Really, really cool booth, man. Very sick, got some retros. Lots of retros down there. And then we have some more stuff, lots of DVDs as well. Looks pretty, pretty cool. Lots of like old ones too, man. They look amazing. You gotta love actual copies of media and it's not just streaming online. Like physical media is so important. It looks beautiful, but. You even got uh, WrestleMania 20 on the TV, so that's a W there, but. One of the best booths I've been to for sure. Looks fantastic. All right, what are we looking at here? What do we think? Premium what? color sale? No, I need one. I'd love uh, it, but it uh, uh, needs to be bigger. It needs to be bigger. Dude, he's gigantic. Jesus Christ. And then uh, 8 Vegeta is freaking beautiful. Yeah, Krillin. S uh, C C Android 16. Dude, this figure is always dirt. Yeah. Yeah. You remember this? I had this when it first released. I love it. I love that figure. You have Captain in you that I got you. Mm -hmm. Got um, Krillin. That's a G Krillin. Got Hercule. We don't have first one Frieza. I want this, but anime color. Just pop the belt off and paint it, I guess. The Nappa is so big. I gotta have Nappa. I hate being a spider. Sometimes. Sweet. Very cool. You want to buy stuff? It's cool. I like that, that, that OG SS. Okay. Metal Cooler. Then how about Mojo Jojo right here? Where's Metal Cooler? Oh, tiny Metal Cooler. Oh, yeah, sorry. Very dope. All right, guys, we're here at Hulk Hogan Avenue is the name of the store. It's at Frank and Sons. It's a nice booth. They have a lot of modern elites. A few classics and throwbacks, but they do have some modern stuff. I'm not seeing chases again. You know, I'm sure people, like, come in and they, like, get the pick of the litter, but... You have some modern stuff. You got some AEW over here as well. I see Jim Ross. You got the Blood and Guts Exploding Barbar Death Match. You got Brody Lee, two pack. I see Supreme Kenny over there, which is cool. Um, ooh, Kurt Angle Plaque down there. Um, it's really cool. He's got this nice little setup right here. So he's got his own WWE action figure set up. The White Family in there in the case. Nice ring full. SDCC Brody. Got a couple chases. Got Darby Allen. Some Series 1, very, very cool. Superstars, Unpunch, so that's good. Unmatched Series 6, which is cool. I imagine that a lot of the stuff, as soon as it comes in, it gets picked up if it's like super new or if it's super, you know, sought after, but he's, a, he's also got DM Sting up there. This amazing Stone Cold statue, Ultimate Charlotte, DM Sting, the three pack, Macho, SCCC pack. Got some collector's editions. Ooh, fan takeover Carmella over there. It's pretty cool. We got, oh, Network Spotlight AJ. Okay, that Retro Roman right there is worth a decent amount. I can't see the price tag from here, though. But the Royal Rumble Vader, Top Talent Slashley. We got some other elites over here. Uh, yeah, 
you know, so like, like with the modern stuff, you see a lot of repeats and stuff like that. But we do have an ultimate section right here. So it's cool. A lot of fan takeovers. The Kane with John Cena. Beautiful. Does that go for $100 now? Wow. Sean. And ringside exclusives. Very, very cool. It's very dope. And then he's got this, uh, this is some more ultimates over here. He just made the list of Jericho. And then he's also got this cabinet full of elites. This is Elite 70 Ziggler. There's some older stuff in here. Uh, Walgreens exclusive Maurice. Got the ultimate Roman. We got three packs of cream. About dropped the phone on my face. That would have sucked. Hall of Champions, Ancient Scrapes. DM Nakamura. That's some cool pieces in here for sure. But it is a lot of modern stuff. But at the end of the day, come check them out. Frank and Sons Collectibles in uh, LA. On the outskirts of LA. I don't know the real the real Addy, I guess. But Frank and Sons, people know where it is. All right. And then you got um, it's Hulk Hogan Avenue. But I appreciate them. Dude, these hot toys are absolutely fucking incredible. My God, look at this Scarlet Spider. That's the dream figure right there. It's this walking specimen. Dude, all these hot toys are ridiculous. It's a whole damn case of them. What have I done? What have I done some more? What have I continued to do? How much is this guy? Does it matter? Dude, look at it. Oh my God, God, that's the best. Just pull the trigger. Dude, he looks insane. Did they get me yeah, there you go. Holy shit, I didn't know they made a bad mobile. <laughs> Good God, that is... Dude, it's like massive. How do people like... Where do you put all this shit? You don't, you don't put. That's the, that's the prop. That's the prop. Lego Camaro. Do what now? Lego Camaro. Very beautiful, man. This place is massive. Oh, Lord in heaven. Look how cool Spider-Man looks in the packaging Marvel Legends icons. I had multiple copies of this Punisher. Unreal. A little buzz action. Pretty cool. Dude, look at that green goblin, bro. How sick. Hanging from the ceiling. That's what he got. Completes it. Dude, look at this. Hopper men on card. Oh my god, look at that. What a piece. We had this flick. That's probably ours. No, I'm just kidding. So that's probably our flick. Like that is him. That's the one from our basement. Made it all the way out here. See the Harley on the bike? Don't you have that Harley? Oh my God, look at Tarzan. That's so cool. Dude, that's amazing. That's the kind of toys you like to find. McDonald's. Uh, old Punisher. Did you see the Punisher Series 4 on the base over there? Oh my God, the doctor. It's very good. I remember when we tried to complete him, but we would always get like the same pieces over and over. And then this three pack had multiple opportunities to purchase it, and then I just always said, nah. Great store, bud. Thank you. Very cool. Very awesome. All right, you got Fusion Collection. Very cool. I think we had the Vegito. We didn't have we didn't we didn't have the SS3 Goku. I might have stole it from Jordan Purple. No, I I actually cussed him out in this video. Oh my God, they have the big Spider Man. I think it's from I think it's from 04. Oh, they have the Booty 3 pack. That's cool. James Thorne and the girl. Some two packs. Oh snap. Two years of that and two. Elite 35 Brandy Orton. Defining moments Chris. Very dope. Very sick. 
Thanks, bud. Men on card mattress set, Taylor. Yeah, I love that. Dude. Right yes. Taylor, they have men on card mattress set, and you don't even care. Look at him. So, uh, Bill Benneke works at Mattel now at huh. WWE. He designed this at Jax. Wow. That's nuts. Different Bill. Oh, yeah. Bill's boss. <laughs> Bill's boss made the mattress set. Yeah. I might buy this. $45, though? Shit. That's only $20 more than it was retail. Jesus. 20 years later. I know. It's it's cool. such a good condition, too. Say, Look at yeah. it, dude. It's like an... It, it looks it's like, newer. It looks like it's brand-ass new. Like, somehow the mattress looks cleaner than it did. It literally... Did, like you, It probably is. It's probably the best in condition that you'll find in the country. Look at these sets we used to get, bro. They don't do them like they used to. Look at this one. And look at that. We have the rat. You remember the road rage, uh, road rage tire with a dead animal on it? <laughs> oh, the shopping cart. I never saw that one in person. I had the mattress one. I had the mattress one too. <laughs> That's awesome. Tyler, you didn't see mattress men on card. Oh my god, you gotta get mattress. Men. It's forty-five dollars. I don't know. We'll see. It's definitely on the table. But like, I feel like if I buy, I bought it for what the mattress. Yeah. I'm buying it for the mattress. Oh, really? Oh, dude, that's so dope. There's so many cool figures. I gotta. <laughs> but we got more up here. Flex Force Lightning. Uh, Charlie Haas. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, Maximum Sweat. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here we go, Taylor. Maximum Sweat. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, we got more maximum sweat. Oh, we got dude, the Billy Gunn is like the worst head sculpt of all time. Dude, dude, look, dude, look at that. Oh, it's that's, brutal. That's Billy Gunn right there. What are you talking Looks about? Looks just like it's Mr. That's ass. Oh, Gangrel. I think we had the Gangrel. Ken Shamrock. We had the Rock. We had Kane. We had a, we had Big Boss Man. I would buy. Did you ever see these though? Oh yeah, absolutely. The Stomp series, dude. <laughs> Owen Hart. What a beautiful piece. These were so cool. I wish they did stuff. I mean, I guess technically they kind of do stuff like that. They, you know, ooh, they got Taker. Taker. Maximum Sweat Taker over here. Oh, bro, you want that Slash. Then he's the ring. Jeff Jerry. Slash. Slash. Oh, we got Slash. Oh. They got Rico back here. Rico figure. Very cool, dude. You gotta love figures like this. No way, street sharks, bro. And we have a uh, small soldier, dude. Oh, they have it. Nick Nitro. Hear that, that voice crack? Nick Nitro. Bring the zoo. Oh my God. Bottom left, major chip hazard. Oh my God. How beautiful. I messed up all my street sharks. I used to feed them marshmallows. What? <laughs> <laughs> and all the paint apps just slowly run away. Yeah. Around. Yep, well. Maybe we found some stuff to purchase. Dude, sick. You got like burning things like in the box. Like, how freaking sick. How long have we not have like premium top of the line small soldiers figures yet? That's a good question. Like, you know what I'm saying? They should be able to punch their way out of the box. <laughs> Start a war. Yeah. Look at this beautiful Spider Man 2 pinball machine. They have this really cool Simpsons deal. They have lots of Playmate Simpsons. Dude. Like, oh my God, I gotta go back and show them the case. They have a full case of Playmate Simpsons. Unbelievable. Absolutely magical. All the play sets, all the different versions of people. What'd you say? card up here. They have a minimum card what? Dude. This store is fantastic. I don't even remember the name of it, but I have to figure that out because it's just, it's overwhelming. Lord in heaven. This is it right here. Jack Specific DBZ. So Jack Specific was getting all my money back in the day between DBZ and wrestling. Beautiful. I mean, Jesus Christ, who do they not have? They have like every single person they ever made. They even have the Burger King toys, Taylor. They got Piccolo. Don't make them like that no more, Brad. What a trip. Nostalgia's a drug.
All right, guys, so I'm finally back home yeah, after the L.A. trip, man. I am finally back after the insane trip that was Los Angeles and WrestleMania, man. Here back in the MDT office, absolute insanity. I did not film an outro for the video because... I don't think I bought anything except for my son. I did buy JoJo some stuff. And it was just a couple Disney cars. That's it, man. I couldn't find anything for the right price point. And if you're wondering what these figures are right here, these are actually all up on my eBay page right now. I listed all of these. They're all up for only 24 hours, man. So uh, this little collection here. And I also got some figure belts over there. So if you guys are interested in any of these, any of these figures, you got the custom Hall of Fame Sting. Carnage, Finn Balor, you got this white Finn Balor, you got a Marty Skrull, Jurassic Express, Kurt Angle, some other figures here, man, definitely go check those out, but I think this is going to be the last video posted on my phone, there might be one more, but I do appreciate you guys so much, we'll get back to regular programming with the editing and different things going on in the videos, man, but I had a ton of fun at Frank and Sons, it was absolutely incredible, I had a ton of fun with Magic and Brad and going around, it was really, really fun, so if you guys are interested in these figures or whatever have you, man, definitely go check that out. But that is going to wrap up the toy hunt at Frank and Sons. It's absolutely astronomically ridiculous how much stuff is in there. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.